In this tutorial, we're going to just talk about the timeline and kind of how to create layers and locking and hiding uh, your, your layers. So I'm going to jump back into Animate, and I'm just kind of going with the same dimensions, uh, 1280 by 720, uh, but you can use a, a different size. And down here, here are your uh, layers and your timeline. So on the very bottom, and this can change. You can actually come up to this little icon and you can change it to a different view. I'm on Essentials, and I'm going to stick with that for now, but you can mess around with the other ones, and it kind of puts things in different spots. So on the timeline, it's looking like we're at 30 frames per second, uh, and so that's basically right to here. So that would be one second of animation. So that's something to kind of think about when you're um, starting to get an animation. So I'm going to work with the layers here. I'm going to just double-click and on that layer one and just name it BG for background, and and then I'm going to create another layer um, and just click on the plus. If you double click on that, I'm going to go ahead and name this snowman because I'm going to create a snowman on there. And then I'll create one more layer and I'll name that uh, sun. So that kind of creates those. One issue when you start kind of building this, it'll start, keep pushing them down. Uh, so if you kind of come up here, you can kind of stretch this up as you get more layers if you need to do something like that. Um, once you are on those layers, you have a couple items up here. You can come in here and lock layers. So you can lock all those layers, or if you just click on that, you can lock them all at the same time. And then you can unlock as well as you start to work on them. Uh, you also have this eyeball, and I'll show that in a minute, but basically that hides and shows those things. So to start off, I'm going to just unlock uh, or keep those locked and unlock the background, and I'm just going to draw something on there. Uh, I'm going to just kind of draw a big rectangle just to get a fill. And then I'm going to grab maybe this um, pencil or this line tool. I'm just going to create some hills. So I'm just going to kind of make a mark there, maybe make a mark there. That should be good. Uh, and then with the, this tool here, I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of click and drag, click and drag to create some simple hills. Uh, on there and then once I've done that I can always come back in here and just delete these parts that I don't really want uh, on there so uh, let me throw in some color so I'm gonna just drop in the paint bucket and then I think I want my sky to be a different color too uh, so I'm done with that background layer I'm gonna go ahead and lock that up and then I'm gonna go ahead and draw a snowman so when I'm doing this I'm not you could draw right over the top of it uh, but I'm actually gonna unlock that and uh, if you grab this guy, you can kind of push this to the side. I'm going to draw over here. And that just makes it a little bit easier so um, I don't accidentally make a mistake. So, um, so grab the oval tool maybe for that. And then I'm just going to kind of click and drag to make a circle. And I held down shift to keep that constrained to make it a perfect circle. And you don't have to do that. And then I could just make a, another circle on top of that. Um, and then and it's a little bit crooked so if that happens you kind of can move it but it'll cut it out so command z or control z if you're on a pc uh, the other so i'm just going to kind of create those and then separate and then i'll go ahead and just double click and kind of place that on there select this guy place that on there and when you start to get to a point where you're kind of squinting and it's hard to work on the details like the eyes, uh, you can grab the zoom tool and zo click and drag to zoom in a little bit. You click on the negative, that'll let you zoom out. And there's other ways to zoom in and zoom out too. So, um, but I'm just going to throw on some simple eyes maybe now. Um, so I'll just do one eye and then another eye. And then maybe I'll do a little... Um, carrot nose with the, the pencil tool uh, and if I have it on the straight let me undo that if I have it on the straighten thing it'll probably end up a little bit straighter and then yeah so that pops out a little bit straighter or if you want to be kind of more crooked you play with those those things uh, grab the paint bucket and then just drop on that color and I'll just grab a simple line and then kind of pull that down. So that'll give me my, uh, my snowman that I'm working with. And once you get something done like that, uh, the easiest way to group it together is to select it 
uh, and make sure you get all selected so you don't accidentally cut off part of it. That would be bad. Command Z. So select it and then right mouse click and convert it to a symbol and then just name it snowman. So that'll get it so it's a lot easier to move around. Uh, now one issue with this is if you do this it makes it easy to move but maybe I forgot to add hands or something to it. So if I wanted to do that I can't just come over here and just kind of draw the hands or whatever because if I do that it's it's not a part of it so in order to fix or add more to it I have to actually double click to go inside of it so now you kinda see all the dots show up again and now if I come over here with that pencil tool and I'm on the squiggly I'm gonna make my stroke size a little bit bigger oh not with that though um, let me select off of it so it's a little bit too thick let me bring it down to about five so now I can kind of come in here and just basically create some simple stick hands. Um, and then I got to remove that piece. So grab that, select it, and, and delete. And then to get out of this mode, just double click. And then you're back out into here. So uh, that's kind of a quick and easy way to do that. Um, so I'm going to lock that up and then create another layer. And on this one, I'm just going to do a simple sun. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just I'm going to switch this back over. Maybe give it yellow. Click and drag. Oh, and I've got that thickness on there. I don't want that. Command Z. Come back over here to my stroke size. Bring it to one, which is default. Or you can keep it. And so now I have my sun. And, and to check it, you can click. And you can kind of uh, see what is on what layer by clicking and hiding it. You could also come over here and actually click on this wireframe mode and you could kind of see uh, what's going on that way too. My background's not really showing it because well, I'm hiding it. So, uh, But that, those are kind of working with layers and the main reason I did this, let me jump back to my son, I forgot to convert that to a symbol. So right mouse click and then convert it to symbol and then name that to a son so it's easy to grab it. But the main reason I kind of put them on separate layers is because I am going to animate these and anytime you want to animate something they have to be on a separate layer. We'll get into that in just a little bit.